Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this golden opportunity, I'd like to explain to the students of uh, class intensive and we'd like to mix it the uh, explanation with the students of class 4 in term of the uh, simple past tense and afterward uh, we uh, focus on the material for the intensive and then we continue the material for the uh, class 4 and before uh, stepping deeper to our explanation about the material that should be learned by you as a student to in order in order to prepare yourself for the examination the last examination last year the last examination or the final examination i mean uh, i hope you uh, skip um, study well and encourage yourself even though the learning is from home keep practicing your english because from home or from your house you can use many sources to study and to increase your uh, capability in communication in English, okay? Uh, okay, well, students, uh, first I'd like to talk to you about the simple past and this explanation, yeah, addressed to the students of class intensive and also for the students of class four. What's uh, the simple past? Actually, it's, uh, it's easy for us to say it, to make it simple is, when we talk about yesterday activities, yeah, we talk about yesterday activities. It's simple or the simple uh, expressions or the simple term to understand what's a simple past. Simple, uh, simple past is used when we talk about yesterday activities. For example, yeah, for example, you can say uh, yesterday I woke up at four o'clock. After I, I got up, I got up at four o'clock. I I went to the mosque to pray subuh, and after that I read my holy Quran, and after that I took a bath, and after that I helped my mother or my parents to uh, clean the house, or I read my book and so on. So. When we, you talk about your yesterday activities, it means you use your simple past. And the combination or the, the form, I mean, the form of the simple past, usually we just use uh, uh, verb 2 uh, or subject plus uh, verb 2. Yeah, such I got up, I woke up, I read, I took, I. Uh, I work and, and so on. And this is uh, the, the explanation about the uh, simple past. Yeah, you can also see it in our uh, module that has been shared before in uh, Google Classroom. And, and also, yeah, uh, for the students of class intensive, yeah. Yeah, for the final exam that you should prepare, you should learn about how to express uh, congratulations expressions yeah? or expression of congratulations. You you and see uh, one achievement, yeah? your friend achievement in doing something, you can say the expression of the congratulations such as uh, good job, well done, agree, and then or you did it or you made it. Yeah, this is some expression of how to congratulate to others' uh, achievement. Such uh, uh, some, some something that reached by your friend, you can congratulate it right, with this uh, expression. Besides that, for class one intensive, yeah, you also uh, practice yourself in showing your sympathy. Yeah, in showing your sympathy. Uh, the sympathy means you feel bad about someone else's condition. Yeah, especially in also your friend is or your that, that someone is in bad condition. For example, uh, one of your friends said, uh, my mother was in the hospital for two days. 
So when you heard about this, or you talk uh, to him like uh, your friend talked to you like this, inform to you that his bad condition about his mother was in the hospital for two days. So you you use yeah you use your uh, your expression to show your sympathy. And what word or what expression we use to show our sympathy? We can say, "Oh, I'm sorry to hear that." Yeah, yeah. Or we can so also say, "Be patient. It will be okay soon." Or hopefully it will be okay soon. Or hopefully your mother get well soon. It's some expression. It's it can be used yeah, in any uh, kind of uh, way to use the sympathy expression. And next for the intensive class, yeah, and the next for the intensive class, uh, you have also practice how to communicate in procedure text, yeah, in procedure even in speak uh, spoken uh, cycle or written cycle, yeah, procedure text, not only the text, yeah, but also in how to communicate, you use the procedure sorry, procedure text. For example, yeah, the example may be given by your teacher, such as how to make a tea, how to make uh, uh, fried rice, how to make uh, uh, hot coffee, a uh, hot coffee, and so on. Yeah, but also it's uh, the procedure when someone asks to you how to uh, pray uh, subuh. Yeah, so you pray, you say uh, this is the way how to pray subuh. First, yeah, we take ablution, we take wudu, yeah, and then your friend asks how to take wudu. First, you say basmalah and niat and so on, and then after that you wash your face with water three times and wash your hands three times from the right hand to the left hand, and this is the way to communicate is the procedure text, yeah. Beside uh, the example that given by your teacher for in the in the material for the preparation of final exam, uh, what how to make a tea, how to make a noodle, how to boil noodle, how to make a coffee and so on. And also the last for students of uh, class intensive, uh, I hope you also read the text that given by your teacher. Uh, the title, the dog and his shadow. Uh, find the vocabularies or the difficult vocabularies, the meaning. I mean, the, find the meaning of difficult vocabularies. Uh, difficult vocabularies in your dictionary. The dog in his shadow, the thirsty crow, and also the reward of uh, kindness. Maybe uh, that's for the class intensive. I hope you uh, read and prepare your Set well for the final examination and good luck. Wish you all the best. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.